hold it up to the camera. So I used that beading plane um, to make these grooves, but it's not always the best tool. Um, here it is, you've been seeing me use it. But I like using it. I like how the bronze is heavy in the hand and it registers really well to the wood. But <clears throat> I guess maybe it's because of the leverage or maybe I just don't have the blade sharp enough right now. There's times when it kind of chatters in the groove so it like doesn't really cut well. It's only happened a few times on this project, but it's happening now. So I wanted to show you the other plane that I use. Here is the plow plane. And uh, 
just to say a couple words about this, it's it's kind of worth saying a few things about it. The plow plane does a really basic job, which is to cut grooves like what I've been cutting. And um, <clears throat> but uh, for its simplicity, like of of the what it does, the design of the tool, the plane itself is was a way for plane makers to kind of show off their skills. So some of the most ornate vintage wooden planes were these plow planes and um, this is kind of a basic one to be honest they get way more ornate uh, than this and so they're really beautiful tools and uh, see if I can you can just see the you know wait I mean everything like the brass thumb screws then there's a brass depth stop and then these you know unscrew and they're just beautiful beautiful tools so i can get a lot more leverage with this and i recently sharpened the iron so i'm gonna first show you me using the uh, beating plane and then switching to this I have to be careful about this right here, this metal bit hitting this shoulder. It already has hit it a couple times, which is why I haven't been using this because it's just a little unwieldy in a small space like this, but um, it does cut smoother, easier. So here it is. You can see it's a little rougher than the other ones just because, you know, these don't have to be perfect. And I kind of rushed the, uh, I kind of rushed it a little, but it did the trick really fast. So anyway, that's another way to do these grooves. Grab that one. And that's about because that one's rotten. Okay, grab that one. Yeah. Hold it up to the camera. Oh, that's a nice one. There's a cucumber. That's a big one. Hey, I love a cucumber. Um, uh, those... oh, over there. Yeah. Where? Oh, wow. Can I take it? That's a big one. I think that one's ready.
Why don't you put a bunch on that plate and we'll go inside and eat? <laughs> it's so hot out here. I'm sweating into my food. Black bear hunting and putting them to use and 
I'll consider the, the trip a success if I just do that. If I see a black bear, then it's like over the moon success. If I actually harvest a black bear, then um, I just saw a bunch of antelope. If I actually kill a black bear, then that's like, you know, amazing. But I'm, it's nice to get out of Texas for a second. It's getting hot there. Here it's cold and I'll be, I think, in the snow or near the snow line. So this will be a nice little break from, uh, from Texas and I look forward to getting out in this.